Okay, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and check to make sure that ring is lined up on the three axes again. And uh, I'm going to need my extra set of eyes for this. She looks pretty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and dry this with our hair dryer. Okay, that's completely dry. The flux has turned frothy white, so most of the uh, water's out of it. I'm going to go ahead and dim the lights here just a bit. We'll get our torch, our striker. Okay, what we'll do is uh, we'll put heat to the ring, get it pretty hot, then we'll move the heat down to the bezel, and then it'll solder. Whichever way the solder runs first, we'll move the heat to the other direction. Solder will follow it. And uh, that's it. Make sure you got your pick handy just in case something happens. So we're going to flash it, make sure all the water's out. Make sure all the... Water's out of it. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll heat the ring up. With the lights dimmed, you can see it's turning sort of a red. You can know when you're getting about ready because you'll see the uh, flux begin to melt. Now the flux is melted. And that's that. And we'll put this in the acid. Remember, don't put them in there with uh, metal. Use or you can use this. Just don't let the uh, the metal don't let the metal tweezers touch the acid, or use a pair of copper tweezers. But you can just drop it in the acid. One other thing about acid, you may want to go ahead and make sure that there's enough acid so when that ring hits that that doesn't create a bubble. What will happen is uh, you'll get acid eating up all the flux everywhere except where that bubble's at. So after a couple minutes, you'll probably want to take a pair of copper tweezers and shake them a bit just to remove any air bubbles that formed on the piece when it was dropped into the acid.